I'd like to apologize for the late start this morning. I got in last night about uh, 10.30, my flight arrived, but that was about 12, uh, 1.30 Detroit time, which was what time I was on. So I uh, had a late morning, and I apologize, but we read in the epistle today, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice, and the reason for my tardiness is a reason for rejoicing. Because as I said, I came from Detroit where Father Saunders just had his first solemn high mass. And so this for us is a very reason to rejoice because now we have three new priests added to the clergy and that's going to be exponentially amount of souls be brought to Christ. And that's what Advent's about bringing souls to Christ, bringing our own souls to Christ. And so we had a very wonderful season. And again, another reason for rejoicing, that we could have the ordination still, even though Bishop Piperunus had a heart attack. We have still an association of bishops with Bishop Davila in Mexico, and he came up and did the ordinations. It was a very beautiful ceremony. But it it was a trying time because we had heard that it was going to be a low mass. And so even Father Anaya said, oh, this is, this is excellent because low masses are, are much less stressful. We don't have to worry. And so we're, we're doing the, uh, the practice for the ceremonies. And about halfway through, Bishop Davila, we, I, I'm, at, I'm the therapist, and so I'm standing there, you know, in my place, and I just hear whispering because Bishop Davila doesn't speak English. And so as Father Borja and Bishop Davila whispering back and forth at the altar, I, I don't know what they're saying, then finally I hear, it's going to be a pontifical high mass. So we continued the, uh, the practice as a pontifical high mass, but we were all prepared for it. And that's, that's the key, I think, is that Lent is a time of preparation. And so we need to prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord. And when we are well prepared and we have those, uh, those times when the devil tries to drag us away, then it's, it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. We have habit, to, you know, the, the habit of, of our prayer life, the habit of practicing virtue, the habit of turning away from sin. And we see the world for what it is. And so that's this time of, of Lent, or excuse me, of Advent, but we have these, these two Sundays in Advent and Lent where we're reminded to rejoice, to take time. We come into the most solemn parts of the season in our preparation for Advent and Lent, but it's to remind us, what are we doing? What is all this suffering for? It's for God. It's to prepare us for when he comes. It's to prepare us for when we seem alone, to remind us that he's always there. And so let us pray for the new clergy, that they may be holy priests, that they may continue to prepare souls for the coming of our Lord, for the second coming of Christ. Even if we don't live to see it, we're going, you know, we need to prepare our souls to go to heaven, that we may be happy with him there. And so, I will leave you with the words of the the epistle. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known to all men. For the Lord is near. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.